When you sue your doctor for medical malpractice, what is the one biggest fear that you as the injured patient are going to have during the course of your lawsuit? You want to know the answer? Come join me on this walk as I share with you the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Jerry Ojinski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. The biggest fear that most injured patients have when they bring a lawsuit against their doctor claiming that their doctor was careless and violated the basic standards of medical care, causing them harm and injury, is having to appear for a pretrial deposition. It's true. That is one of the biggest fears that they face. Now, I'm going to share with you exactly how to overcome that fear. Now, here's exactly what happens. In order for you to get to the point where you can go ahead and file a lawsuit against your doctor, we have to go ahead and confirm that you, in fact, have a valid basis for a case. And we do that by obtaining your medical records, having an expert review them, who confirms that, yes, your doctor was careless, and yes, that carelessness was a cause of your injury, and that your injuries are significant or permanent. Okay, so what happens next? What happens next is that we start your lawsuit. Now, during the course of your lawsuit, you will have to answer questions by the attorney who represents the doctor whom you have sued. We call this a deposition. Lawyers also call it an examination before trial. It's really nothing more than answering questions by the attorney who represents the doctor whom you have sued. And you're thinking, okay, what kind of questions could they be asking you? That's where the fear comes in. The fear of the unknown, what questions this attorney is going to be asking you. And also, what's going to happen if you don't remember the answers to those questions? That's where the fear comes in. So many times an injured patient will come into the office. Now they want to go ahead and bring a case because they think that the doctor was careless, causing them harm and injury. And then when they're told they'll have to give pretrial testimony about what happened, all of a sudden they start to get worried. They start to get anxious. And as the weeks and days get closer and closer to the date of your scheduled pretrial question and answer session, now they begin to get even more anxious. And here's what typically happens. The injured patient calls and says, I don't understand. I'm not prepared. I'm not ready. What record should I review? What should I do in preparation so that I won't get anything wrong? Let me share with you a couple of tips that will help you to quell your fears, to allay your fears, and you'll begin to realize that this is nothing more than telling the opposing attorney exactly what it is that you remember. That's all it is. The biggest way to allay your fears and anxiety about this pretrial question and answer session is when your attorney prepares you for the questions that you are going to be asked. It's known as a prep session. Now, what's that? It's when the attorney sits down with you, typically a few days before you are scheduled to be questioned by the opposing attorney, and now he goes through with you almost every single question that you are likely to be asked by the defense lawyer. By the end of that preparation session, you will know exactly what the defense lawyer is going to ask you. A really good attorney is going to cover every single aspect of what the lawyer could ask you, what the lawyer likely will ask you, and to try and get you to think about the facts of your case. In all likelihood, your attorney is not going to be showing you diagrams, they're not going to be showing you medical records, and they're not going to tell you to review any medical records in your case. Instead, they may refresh your memory about something that occurred. Now, a lot of injured patients turn around and say, will my lawyer tell me what to say? The answer is no. Good lawyers never, ever tell the client what to say. Why is that? Because we can't put words into your mouth. We can refresh your memory. We can tell you about something that may have happened that's reflected in the records, but we cannot tell you what to say. We can tell you what types of questions you'll be asked, questions about what you remember. And many injured patients turn around and say, what happens if I don't remember? What if I get the answer wrong? Well, here's the reality. There is no wrong answer. The answer is, what is it that you remember? You should know this, and it's really important. The purpose of a pretrial question and answer session known as a deposition is not an opportunity for you to tell the defense lawyer every single thing that you know. That's really important. Instead, the purpose of a deposition is to answer the lawyer's questions. That's it. If the lawyer doesn't ask you the appropriate questions, that's his problem. If the attorney doesn't ask you a question that's worded properly, that's his problem. If the attorney doesn't get the information he needs in order to defend the case, that's his problem. Your goal during a pretrial question and answer session is not, not to tell the lawyer every single thing that you know about the events that transpired. A good defense attorney will always go ahead and ask you about conversations that you had with various doctors. 
They will always ask you about conversations you had with family members and any other doctors who were present. They will always want to know what it is that you remember about what you said to the doctor at any given time and what the doctor said to you in response. The attorney will also want to know about your injuries. What things can and can't you do during the course of your day? What are you prevented from doing? What disabilities or injuries do you have now? What medications do you take because of the problems that you experience? The attorney will ask you lots and lots of questions. It'll probably take many, many hours, if not a full, complete day. Sometimes it takes even more to ask you all the questions that are needed. Another thing that typically comes up when an injured patient is told they have to appear for pretrial questioning is they think this is going to take place in the courtroom. They think a judge will be there. They think a jury will be there. The reality is no. There's no judge there. There's no jury there. This questioning takes place in our conference room. That's it. The defense lawyer is there. We are there. I am there with you. And there is a court stenographer there to record all of the questions and all of your answers. The biggest fear that I see injured patients having is not knowing what questions are going to be asked. And you will find that your attorney will go ahead and prepare you, usually a day or two before, so that your answers and the questions are fresh in your mind. So now on the scheduled date, you have a good memory of exactly what questions will be asked. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you a sense of exactly what fears injured patients have when they're told they have to appear for a deposition in a medical malpractice case. You know, I recognize you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you still have questions but have not yet started a case and are thinking of doing so, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.